Unconfirmed One Piece characters whom having Conqueror's Haki is not even a question. Dracul Mihawk being the world's strongest swordsman and capable of fighting Haki Master Shanks on equal terms. Mihawk has to have Conqueror's Haki. If not, I'll be shell-shocked. Shimotsuki Ryuma. Ryuma is said to be the strongest swordsman to ever exist. Before Mihawk was even born, he's mostly renowned for slaying a real-life dragon and being the first person ever to turn his blade black. So him not having Conqueror's Haki is impossible. Rocks the Zebek. Zebek is undoubtedly a legend whose name brought fear to both the Marines and strong pirates alike. He was the captain of strongest pirate crew of all time, which included many Conqueror Haki users such as Whitebeard, Kaido, Big Mom, and many more. Not to mention, Pirate King Goldie Roger had to join forces with Hero Garp to take down Zebek. So Zebek definitely has to have had Conqueror's Haki. Emu Sama this man, or possibly a woman, is single-handedly responsible for wiping out countries from maps and history from history books. The entire world government is under his grasp and only few people know of his existence. In every single chapter he is introduced, Emo seems to run the show. If he doesn't have Conqueror's Haki, I'll be utterly disappointed. Monkey D. Dragon, grandson of legendary marine Monkey D. Gap, and father to current Yonko, Monkey D. Luffy. Dragon is the leader of the revolutionary army, an organization that the world government considers the most dangerous. Even if he wasn't to be a leader of such organization, his bloodline itself screams that he possesses Conqueror's Haki. 